then, Chris, I'll hand over to you and um, look forward to your talk. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Ruth. Um, hopefully, you can all hear me too. Um, I'd like to thank you all for um, coming today and logging in. Uh, I find this window absolutely excellent. Um, and it kind of goes, it's very in tune with process arts and what process arts is um, about. And uh, one of the main things that process arts is about is about sharing um, information uh, across the university. The main idea is that it's not just a university resource, but it's an open resource for everyone to use. But mainly for the content wise is just to share content across the university. Some of the sort of main points of process art or main questions that sort of came out as it was being developed was how can professional and educational art practice be documented and shared online? What are the advantages and disadvantages of showing the art process and viewing the processes of others? And how do students and teachers and artists approach and view and use such forms of documentation? So really, this was the reason for putting Process Arts together. Um, it, Process Arts came together via a fellowship. Uh, it's a non-funded project at the moment. Um, so it was a series of secondment fellowships that eventually brought it together. And um, the main ideas were to uh, make a, a user-driven, um, content-driven um, website that's uh, available for all students that to upload content quite easily uh, that can stimulate discussions across colleges so we can talk to people at PSM and we can talk to people at, um, um, across colleges um, and obviously to be open. So it's not actually live at the moment, it's still only on a test site and we're hoping to run it as a pilot and uh, hopefully very soon, but early 2000. The first thing I wanted to do when creating it was to create a, a, a simple environment, uh, something that, that anyone can really get into, um, as open, accessible, and has all the multimedia functionality that you'd expect from a, from a, a site such as this. And that's, that goes along with being able to upload video, text, image, and stuff like that. So one of the first problems of approaching process arts was how to actually um, break it down and how to categorize things, because it could be potentially be huge, trying to, um, to encompass every single process uh, that goes on in art practice. So what we eventually did was, um, from this mind map, which you probably can't see, um, we sort of whittled it down to sort of core areas. And these areas were architecture, audio, ceramics, design and illustration, digital arts, fashion, textiles, film, video, and animation painting, performance, and public arts, uh, photography, printmaking, sculpture, theatre. And as you can see, the icons at the top of, uh, this is the site, the interface, uh, sorry. And as you can see, the icons at the top here um, show uh, e each area where the content is stored. So when you're creating um, content, and you can categorize it, say, within ceramics. You can also put tags as well within that content field. So if you've got ceramics, um, you can put other related uh, tags and words in order for people to find your content. Uh, there's also a search area, and um, it's quite a powerful search. So if you, like I've done here, if you put sand casting, you'll get everything. Uh, associated to sand casting on the website, and likewise here in the back for uh, wood, we'll get everything that's associated with wood. The video was quite important because I, th I think to have video, uh, to be able to upload video, uh, students to be able to make video, and staff to be able to make the video and upload ourselves rather than using third party Google or uh, other applications in order to show video. I, I thought it was really important, so we made sure we had a really good um, video upload, FFmpeg, and it converts video. I think you can upload up to 300 megabytes video, and it will convert it uh, as uh, FFmpeg.
Greg. And uh, it does a really good job and it's really fast. Obviously, you can also uh, embed third party videos, which you know, a lot of people will still use YouTube, um, and, and we are at the moment, um, and also uh, any other applications like Vimeo can embed as well. Uh, other ways of presenting content, obviously, students have got sketchbooks or uh, just images. You might take a, a series of images. Uh, you can upload just a, a slideshow of images with text as well, or explaining your process or, or um, a particular tutorial or something like that. Uh, you can have text only. Um, slideshow can be manually uh, forward, so you can click uh, slide by slide, or you can have an animated slideshow, which is quite good. So you can upload, say, 50 images, and the slideshow will just start playing. Um, I think it changes every three seconds. So that's quite good if you've got a post session. Maybe you don't want to video it, but the student maybe takes um, 50 shots of, of the process over a period of time and then puts it on animated slideshow. So once you put all these bits of content on, you might have lots of related content. So you might have a video, you might have an image, um, text, and then you have, say, seven bits of different content. You want to put them all together in one tutorial. So there's a, the ability to do that, to make a tutorial of several parts of content as well, all in one. And this, uh, as you can see, is uh, the tutorial with those um, specific um, bits of content open that tutorial. Obviously, at the moment, there's lots of blogs and wikis um, happening. Um, so again, I, I, I kind of see process arts as a central place for all these things going on, especially, well, in relation to making. Um, uh, so it goes to saying that blogs and wikis are, going, are happening, and you could probably potentially find all the blogs and wikis of UAL potentially um, in process arts, obviously linked to them. But in a way, I kind of see process arts as, as, as a way of uh, maybe some people avoiding blogs and just going straight into process arts for their content. Uh, you log into process arts using your username and password, uh, your UAL username and password. Uh, obviously, the, there are some problems with that. But hopefully, um, everyone will get to grips with using their username and password, updating passwords. The good thing about that is that you don't you need to keep updating. Uh, personal information. So when you log in, you have your own your, your user, so people know who you are. So uh, that's quite nice as well. So you know who you're talking to. Um, a lot of the time, um, I mean, I'm absolutely awful with names um, and remembering things. So it's quite nice to have a visual picture of who's you're communicating with across colleges. And also a bit of background about it. Uh, when you actually come to create content, you um, hit the create content tab at the top. Up here. And you'll get a list of all the different um, types of content you can upload. Uh, and again, going back to making it nice and simple, it's just uh, you put your title in, upload your content. And you can tick the disciplines. You can put multiple disciplines if, if it covers um, lots of uh, lots of different areas. Um, and then just below that, you can add your tags to make it even more searchable. Terms and conditions. Um, these have been drawn up by the university and will uh, hopefully cover quite a lot of things. Uh, a lot of the problems that potentially might arise uh, in regards to copyright and. Um, and also users. I think the good thing about the university just being the content that's on, on process arts is only uh, generated by people at the university. So we're in a way in a little bit more control about what's going on there, and we can hopefully sort of manage that. Uh, again, the Q and A. So there's a, hopefully going to be a, a, a nice support section and a possibility to, to ask questions and get instant answers. So well, that's the site, and um, that was the main thing to ma actually make this uh, environment. So uh, one of the second things which I was interested in during the fellowship, during making this, was content. 